Hello everyone, Sunday Look 2 and welcome to another tutorial this time on the Twitch fabric setup I've done with Rift but obviously fabric now. Um, if you've seen my vanilla fabric tutorial then obviously you understand how that works. I'm going to use a bit of that here as well as a few other things elsewhere. So, um, yeah, here's some things to consider. Um, fabric API is definitely needed for mods to be working in a fabric environment, but we're not going to use that to install it, of course. There's your mod list, and then there's ways to find mods with ease that are fabric compatible, even though pretty much anything for 1.14 snapshots is um, already supporting fabric anyway, so you won't struggle to find things. Now, um, I'm pretty sure I've got my mods there. The one thing I do want to keep in mind is either copy across dot fabric or dot mix and dot out. Now, since I've already done this with Rift and the fact that Rift and Fabric both use dot mix and dot out uh, to get information, um, I don't need to copy this across already because I've already got it. But if you haven't set up Rift before, then it's probably best to install Fabric, I guess, in vanilla first, and that'll pop up as well as that, and then carry this one across because this one technically will create itself or so. But the way I did it um, that I've attempted in the past is just. Um, the following. I got my install of Fabric Loader here, which does the following, and I got it from, I'm pretty sure it was, actually I have to get the site back up one second. Okay, so I went to the Fabric discussion section, because that's where I usually keep most of the easy to access links. It looks something like this. And then I went with this one. This one struggles with finding a JSON object, so you want to go with the new one here. And obviously this is part of the vanilla launcher, part of the tutorial. I saved that. And then we'll go to downloads. You double click this. Create a profile. If you haven't done it before, if you already have, then obviously you do exactly what I've done afterwards, which is get the file of the profile and then carry it across to Twitch the same way I would with Rift. I've already done all this. You get it done there where it says ready to install. And then like so, install, versions, and I pasted it in here because it's already set itself up. I don't know if that's counting, that's counting two entries of loading stuff. Does Rift do the same thing? Seems like maybe it would? No, okay. Um, I'm assuming that's the same thing twice. I don't know what that is because I hadn't come across it with Rift, so I can't comment on that. I pasted my dot rix mix and dot out here. Uh, that is all fine. And because of the way I set up things, as you can see, those two have been created. I put fabric.api there, and I put the others in here, which I got from my vanilla instance. Um, but yeah, once you work that out, um, let's see, that's my vanilla one. I want to scale this. I've got my fabric test here. I just used 1.13.2. Technically, it probably shouldn't matter, since, yeah. Now this will have the same problems as the Rift one, where it doesn't stick to the profile, so you're going to want to be careful of that. But if I actually go to get more content, it will show 1.13.2 mods. Obviously I don't need to acknowledge any of those, because that's not what I'm doing here. Obviously I put my mods in here, and I've got a few disabled ones from prior testing of things, because I wasn't sure if the recent Fabric versions would work, and since it's obviously just a vanilla install of certain elements of fabric like you would the multi-mc version. I didn't have to worry, so it's fine. Um, obviously profile editor, I'm gonna edit the profile. Um, 
fabric is there. If you wanted to skip past things so it doesn't have to do the snapshot at the same time as doing fabric right afterwards, you could obviously just go to the enable experimental development snapshots, go yes, and then I can do that there if I want to, since this obviously is a vanilla launch type setup, but using the Twitch launcher for this stuff. Um, I just thought I'd use the old launcher as something different in comparison to the modern launcher. It should work with that as well. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, this is what I'm going to show. And we wait for it to load. It's already downloaded Fabric Loader, Mod Loader, but it's going to check over things. And yep, it's already checked over. Whoopsie, that's not it. Yeah, but since it can't actually detect 1.14 yet for Twitch, since it's not really supposed to, since it's in snapshot phase at the moment, as of this tutorial, uh, yeah, you can't uh, set it up as a profile, uh, a Twitch profile at least, not a um, version profile. Um, but yeah, global profiling won't work since it's an unofficial method, until Twitch officially um, accepts support for Rift or Fabric, you won't see this happen, which is why the unofficial ones exist that I've come across with just a few files put in the right place, and yeah, and you can see I've got the following like so. I can go in here, you can tell I've been testing this, and yeah, and you can do all your normal stuff from here, whether it be setting up um, more VRAM with your instance or you know going straight into a world with the mods that definitely do work for you in a fabric instance typically um, if you already have tried it with multi MC and you thought eh, I want vanilla or twitch then definitely go for it and I've got these here since prior testing that works and yeah um, I haven't actually checked if I'm actually going to test this. If I go in and out. Because I'm curious if that works or it's only with reloading or relogging. Because uh, sometimes with Rift mods, from my experience at least, they can. Certain blocks and items, or at least anything placed in the world from Fabric, will disappear. Okay, so it's not here, but if I relog, it probably might. That might just be from my multi-MC experiences, because I haven't properly tested with vanilla or Twitch yet. But it is possible. Other than that, that this was the Fabric Twitch unofficial install tutorial using elements of vanilla as well as not too much trickery, but just a few obvious vanilla hints of using the um, snapshot profiling as well as putting the right fabric install version in from vanilla. Carrying across here, and if you needed the mixin or fabric folders, definitely put those in the correct spot just in case if you want to skip over fabric downloading them for um, this setup. You'll skip that, it'll read them, and then it'll go for it. Um, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but I'm assuming it will if it acknowledges the same files and the same code. But as I actually put only just the fabric version in here, I'm pretty sure. Because um, I'm pretty sure that's all I did, is I just put the install folder in here. I just put this in here and that's it. And then after that, since I already had the dot mixin from Rift in the install folder, it was fine, but for this here, it set it up itself, because if I go to the vanilla one, all it does is install stuff to here, so it'll do it itself, unlike Rift, where for the Twitch setup, I had to put this stuff across, because it wouldn't work it out, unless... I don't actually know what the case was there. Um, uh, yeah, you to do it here. Um, no, sorry. Um, doesn't with those. Oh well. You get the idea. 